Hello, I would like to talk to you a little bit about the sacred triduum. These three days that are soon to be upon us. In fact, beginning with Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and the Easter Vigil. It's really one liturgy that spans three days and takes in the heart and foundation of what we believe as Catholic Christians. So on Holy Thursday, normally in the morning, there would be the Chrism Mass. And at that Mass, at the cathedral and most dioceses, all the priests of the diocese would gather and renew their priestly promises to the Lord to serve him and to celebrate the sacraments of salvation with God's people. This year, of course, that cannot be, so it'll be scheduled at a later time. We'll come together and during that mass, the sacred oils that we use during the sacraments will be blessed. Now, right now, we'll continue to use the oils that we have until we're able to have that mass to make new ones. But the three sacred oils are the oil of the catechumenate, which is the oil that we use when we do the scrutinies on those who have not yet been baptized to pray over them and protect them from the devil who would try to sway them away from receiving the gift of salvation. We also use that right before baptism on an infant. We bless the infant and we do a prayer of exorcism, praying that the devil will stay at bay while that child receives the gift of the Holy Spirit. So that's the first oil and that's the oil of the catechumenate. And then there's the oil of the infirmed. That would be the oil that we use in the anointing of the sick. And we bless a person's forehead and the palms of their hands. An interesting thing about that is that when a priest receives that sacrament, the back of his hand is anointed instead of the palms because the palm of a priest's hands was anointed with the sacred chrism, which is the third oil. And that's the oil that has a perfume mixed with it called sacred balm. And it has that fragrance that if you've ever been to a baptism, you would smell because it's used in baptism, confirmation, and ordination. At the time a priest is ordained, our hands are anointed with the sacred chrism so as to celebrate the sacraments for God's people. And the sacred chrism, it symbolizes the presence of the Holy Spirit, that fragrance and power of the Spirit to dwell in us through the sacraments. So that's Holy Thursday in the morning. Then in the evening of Holy Thursday, there's the Mass of the Lord's Supper where we commemorate the time that the Lord celebrated the Last Supper, ordained his disciples, priests, and commanded them to do this in his memory. Often at that Mass, we will have the washing of feet because in John's Gospel, Jesus got up took off his outer garment and tied a towel around him and washed his disciples' feet. It's a sign of humility and service. And he said, I have come not to be served, but to serve, and you are to do the same. Now this year, we will not do the washing of feet because of the pandemic, but it is a beautiful tradition and part of that special liturgy. The next two minutes, I will give for the other days of the sacred triduum, so stay tuned.